Welcome to day 128 of our Big Cloud journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my brother, Brian. And today, you know, there's a few things I think we want to touch on, Brian. Yeah, so I think the biggest story is about five hours, six hours ago, um, Diamond Hands ended the, the largest NFT auction, the highest price NFT auction yet on BitCloud, which was his post announcing NFTs are on BitCloud. And it closed at 500 clout, which is at the current price of about $54,000 or so. Uh, Dharmesh won it, um, the, the former founder of, of Hub, HubSpot. He won it for 50000 and then, or 54000 or so. And then Diamond Hands took that money and put it right back into Dharmesh's coin. So I, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, what do you think? Kind of makes me wish I won it now. I know, right? Yeah. But, so I, I mean, I, I definitely could see it having a lot of value in the future, especially if the platform takes off and NFTs become really popular on BigCloud. Yeah, and don't forget, there's still Diamond Hand's first post, which was also, I believe, the first ever, ever first ever NFT minted on BigCloud, and that's just not for sale. Diamond yeah. Hand holds it, so who knows what he has has planned for that one. Yeah, or if he will ever sell it, maybe maybe he's not gonna sell it. Maybe he's just gonna hold it and it's just minted on the blockchain forever. Who knows? But yeah. Another, another story is- so, uh, Yeah, I, well, I just wanna mention 2,000, 2000 NFTs have sold on BigCloud so far. Is that incredible or what? It's been what, two and a half days? Yeah, like probably 60 hours or so. And not even, it's, it's been about Filming this has been about, I think, maybe like 50, 50 hours, 59 hours or something like that. And I mean, that, that says a lot about how quickly things took off. I mean, we got the first one you sell for over 50,000. We have 2,000 sales. I mean, some of the sales are for a dollar, but I mean, there's been plenty that have been over over a thousand. And I think there's been a $4,600 sale, a $2,300 sale. There's, there's plenty of larger sales. Yeah, and it's it's all great news, and I've noticed a lot of artists coming on the platform as well, like big time NFT artists who are known on other platforms. So that's a good sign as well. Yeah, and, and I've spoken to a few of them, and they keep saying this is the easiest platform I've ever minted on. It's it's just so simple, like you, like you don't have to go through all these steps to to pay gas fees on Ethereum or to list on these other like OpenSea or Rarible where you got kind of got to Spend, spend more time than simply making a post and click, clicking mint. So I, I think that's, that's awesome. If artists start getting close to what they get on these other platforms, it's going to make sense for them because they're also going to get diamonds and they're going to get coin buys, which they're going to collect the founder reward from. So it's really amplifying what they're already making on these other platforms. Yeah. But, you know, we held a clubhouse room yesterday and it was, it was in an NFT club. And we had, at, at one time, we had over 130 people in the room just trying to learn about BitCloud NFTs. And we actually walked them through the process of minting. Uh, we had Sam Yutha. She actually minted a, an NFT live during the clubhouse to show how easy it was. Uh, and you should probably check out Sam Yutha's and yeah. I'll yeah. tag her in the post below here. But it, it's, a, it's an old photo of her. And it's a really cool post. Yeah, and within minutes, I think it got about a one thousand dollar bid, something around that, a thousand forty or something. So I mean, it was it was awesome to be like just watch it happen live and watch her get bids live too. I think Tony Wu or Creator Fund bid on it. Yeah, and then Black Cherry came in and he also uh, he also minted an NFT. And Lane Digital Art actually walked people through the entire process, and he's he's so good at explaining. The process and how easy it is so if you need somebody to explain to another person how to mint on big cloud he's the one to go to yeah we'll tag him in the post uh, and I, I think finally uh the, the mysterious account gallimar who owns i think 144 of their own coin bought about one hundred thirty thousand dollars of their own coin wow. yesterday alone uh i mean I, I don't we don't know who it is maybe somebody does but as far as we know, it's kind of mysterious and uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with, with that account.
Yeah, and so before we close out, I think we should just touch briefly on the price of BitClout, which sits at around $107.74, I believe. Uh, it's going up, Brian. It's it's inching up. You know, it was stuck at it around 100 for a while, but now since the launch of NFTs, it seems like the price is going up a little bit. Yeah, I, I expect to see a slow, steady rise. People that are buying NFTs on the platform, if, if these big name artists are coming over and bringing their fans and collectors, those collectors are going to need to buy clout in order to bid. So that should increase the demand of clout where supply is actually going to be decreasing because it's being locked away in the coin of these creators. So when, when an artist sells an NFT and they have a coin holder royalty, that amount of clout from the royalty actually goes and gets locked forever into that artist's creator coin. So it's basically taking supply out while you're increasing demand, which when that happens, you know what happens if the price goes up. Now, this isn't an investment advice. Uh, anything can happen. There could be a big seller that comes in and, and tanks the whole thing, but, but it does seem positive in the long term. So are there any other cryptocurrencies where supply is actually continuing, continuing on a downward trend? So yeah, the, the supply of BitCut will always be going down as long as NFTs are selling on the platform. Are there any other yeah, cryptos that do that? Do you know? There are. The, there, there are other, other cryptos, other tokens, which they're deflationary where for every transaction, a small amount is taken out of circulation. There are different ways they do it, but, but uh, it, it really, they, those cryptos need to be legitimized and seen as something that's going to be a long-term hold for the future in order for that to really pay off much. Because I mean, there's so many cryptos out there and so many tokens out there, but I think BitCloud has that backing. It has that ability to appeal to the masses and for people to say, Hey, this is a future technology. And this, Currency does have value. There's actually a, a utility to it. Yeah, that, that's a great point. Like BitCloud's cryptocurrency is proven because we see what it's doing on the platform. It's not just like, you're not just speculating what it could be used for in the future. You're actually using it right now and you're seeing it in use and there's a positive, great use case for it right now. So so I, I, I think I'm excited about it to see what happens. Does the price go up? I guess we just have to wait and see. Ultimately, like Mario said yesterday, I don't think we should be that concerned about the price because if BitCloud succeeds, ultimately the price is going to go up. One final thing before we call it a day, uh, Tiffany Trump has returned to BitCloud after about a 60-day or 70-day hiatus of not posting. She came back and she said she's back. It's going to be interesting to see if she stays, see if any of her family members come. Well, she uh, about, I guess it was probably over a hundred days now, she actually made a post saying, can anyone guess what what other family members coming to BitCloud? And she's, apparently she said she was gonna tell her top coin holder back then. I don't know if she ever did. I don't know whatever happened to that. I don't know if this individual still plans to come onto BitCloud. I think the options in her multiple choice were Ivanka, Don Jr., Donald Trump, and maybe Eric Trump. I don't remember the, what the fourth option are, is, but I mean, <laughs> If, if any Trumps come onto the platform, I think it's going to bring other people on, whether you think that's positive or negative. I mean, that's up, up to you guys to decide. But without a doubt, I, I think it would bring a lot of people onto the platform. Yeah. And I think that's a good spot to end this day 128. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good spot. Um, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow.